Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Pokemon Eye of the Storm. In the last part, we basically fought a bunch of trainers, and that's about it. And in this part, we're going to go and take on the Aqua Admin, who is making a mess on the stove, I guess. In the gym, this being used as a makeshift uh, shelter for the storm. You there! Yes! That's usually how it works. Yes? Alright, that's nice. Again, with the uh, the writing trying to sound ominous and somehow failing because the, the whole thing is just kind of ridiculous. Anyway, this is Aqua Admin Abbott. Aqua Admin Abbott, Aqua Admin Abbott, Aqua Admin Abbott, Aqua... Never mind. Anyway, so you're gonna send out a Gyarados, which is bad news for me because I guess I can use Ice Beam. What's Ice Beam, what's Ice Beam going to do? Alright, that didn't do very much. Uh, you are going to go and use Hydro Pump, which did even less than Ice Beam, because Gyarados not, is Gyarados. Another freeze on Ice Beam! Wow. Okay, I'll take it. Goodbye. Now, you are going to get a level up out of that, so you have grown to a nice round level 50. Reflect? No, I don't think so. Did not learn Reflect. Alright, so uh, Tequila grew to level 52, and I'm going to go and send in Paprika. Alright. So, Paprika versus Lantern is going to, I think, end in the Lantern dying, because I have a... I have Mud Bomb on me. Did the game just freeze? Oh, okay. I don't know why it looked like the game froze for a moment. And you missed again! How often are... How often... Okay, so the game froze because I momentarily tabbed out of it for some reason or another. How often are these 85% accurate moves going to miss? Hmm? Mud Bomb does have 85% accuracy, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, you're going to keep using Signal Beam. I'm going to keep using Mud Bomb. Alright, thank you very much. Lantern went down. Tequila grew to level 48. And, or, uh, Paprika rather grew to level 48. And I didn't see who you're going to send in, so I'm going to go and default to Fontaine. Alright. You're gonna send in Lapras, alright, so maybe I should have stayed in with the other guy. Anyway, I can go and use Fly, and Funbane is gonna go and fly up high, and you're going to go and, um, use something or another. That didn't do any damage at all, alright. Fortunately for me, neither did that, because Brine does more damage if you're below half health in the yellow than it does if you're above half health in the green. Anyway, so that- whoa, a critical hit, I'll take it. Very nice, good job, Funbane. Uh, you're going to send the Hydreigon next, so which I think I can handle with a nice Ice Beam to the face. Ice Beam to the face, Dragon Rush, that's going to sting. Although maybe not as much as it would from a Garchomp or a Dragonite because, well, physical attack and stuff like that. Although Hydreigon's physical attack is no slouch either. You're going to use Dragon Pulse this time, which, whoa, 1 HP. Good job. Legendary versus Zulu, Legendary versus Pseudo Legendary, and the Pseudo Legendary lost. Which I guess is to be expected. You're going to send in a Gyarados again. I am going to go and get on out of there because I don't want to mess around with um, 1 HP. Anyway, Gyarados is going to come in and go and uh, lower my attack. It's going to use Toxic. I think all you can do is Rain Dance. You can't use Hydro Pump on me because Storm Drain. Like you were trying to do in that last battle with the double battle. Because um, the AI is not smart enough to realize if their target's partner has a Storm Drain apparently. Anyway, you're gonna use Hyper Beam! That's gonna sting. Alright. I'm gonna take this turn to heal. Let's go and go into my bag. Hyper Potion. I'm down to three of those. I should buy some more soon. After this battle, I'm probably gonna buy some more. Although this town doesn't have a Pokemart, so I'll have to wait for the next town. Alright, um... Body Slam once again, I guess. Hyper Beam! Fun. Too bad Hyper Beam doesn't have an animation in this game, in Pokemon Essentials 16-2. At least I don't think it does. I don't remember if I bothered to update the animations for uh, Pokemon Essentials 16-2, because this was, uh... I started working on this with 16-0, for whatever reason. And, um, you're gonna, you're gonna be talking to me. Yes, I am truly lost. I guess so. Anyway, you're gonna run away, and you're gonna fade to black and fade back in, and... The, uh, the, the Team Aqua disappeared at the wrong timing. It was, they were meant to f disappear when the screen was black and not now, but whatever. You there! 
I believe this is going to be a Tyrogue. Eh, no, I don't really feel like nicknaming Tyrogue. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center and deposit it anyway. Um, you guys, I think somebody else in this gym will give you something. No, not you. Maybe you? That's a Hyper Potion. Very nice. I said I needed more of those. Do you have anything to say? Okay, so you're going to give me a full heal as well, so that's nice. A full heal is good. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center to deposit Tyrogue, and I'm going to be moving on. Alright, there we go. And now, <clears throat> it is time to actually go north. If you wanted to check your map, by the way, the map that you got at the very beginning of the game, uh, it doesn't have a marker, but you would see where uh, Newark is, where you're supposed to be going to the Meteorology Center. It's uh, basically east of um, Passaic, where I just was before coming back down to go and uh, fight Team Aqua in the gym. So it's going to be nice, because I'm going to be able to skip all of the training. This, uh, this tear in the world map is really bothering me. In the um, Not the world map, but whatever, the, the tear in the map. It's really bothering me. Whatever. I'll fix that some other day, but not today. Um, let's see, I can go and skip all of the trainers up here. I should probably throw on a repel as well. Let me go throw on a repel. Because, let's see, that's a max repel. I probably could have gotten away with just using the super repel because it's not that far. But anyway, here we are in Passaic. And we're going to go east. And we're going to cross a bridge. And we still don't have surf, so even though, well, you have the bug mode surf. But I'm going to not be using that. Okay, good. These guys have disappeared. And I think we're now in Newark. And there's a Pokemon Center here, which I could go have gone and healed at. I'm going to go and heal here anyway, just so that if I white out for whatever reason, I'm not going to be going all the way back to New Brunswick. Alright, so here we are. And I believe there are some people in these houses. I believe. Right? Yeah, there's some people in these houses. Um, no. I am fighting Team Aqua. Oh, thanks. That's a Zinc. Which I can give, once again, to my wall. Uh, my wall is going to be... Oh, I said I was going to deposit Tyrogue too, didn't I? Parika is going to be the uh, the wall. Alright, so let's go and um, get on out of there. And let me go and uh, deposit Tyrogue for real. Alright, so here we are. I no longer have a Tyrogue. And this... There's a door that doesn't exist. Very nice. Fourth wall breaks. Does the sign say anything? Alright, so that, that's like programmer art. Sign. Alright. <clears throat> Is there anybody on the beach? There's nobody on the beach, so everybody in this town had the common sense to go inside, unlike in some cities. What's this? That's a netball. So that'll make it easier to catch Pokemon in the water, I think. I don't remember what the netball does, alright? Anyway, this is a, uh, a Pokemon lab. Professor Cactus's lab. Because, you know, Cactus is a, a variety of tree. Whoa! It's a mess in here. Somebody knocked over a potted plant. You there! Stop running away from me. You made it! Anything you want to know? Who are you? I study plants. And you study Pokemon as well. Sort of. New Jersey doesn't have any fancy Pokemon professor like Kanto and Hoenn do. Tell the noobs a little introduction and remind them not to poke a sleeping Dragonite in the eye. If you want to, you can get- whoops. If you want to, you can go through all these dialogue options. But I don't really feel like it. Uh, this is, uh... This is Professor Cactus. Oh, come on. I- uh, I'm just going to say goodbye for now. Uh, this is kind of a, at the beginning of development, when I wasn't sure what this game was going to turn into, he did actually give you an introduction at the beginning of the game. But my partner in crime was like, you know, scrap that, it doesn't really serve a purpose, we'll just have some text and throw you right into the, right into the action or something like that. Um, where was I going with that? Anyway, he's still, he's still in the city here, in Newark, so you can go and talk to him if you really want to. This is the radio. Which doesn't exist in this game because I never got around to implementing that either. So instead there's a bunch of NPCs who are like... There's a bunch of NPCs who are like, oh my god, did I actually do this? My sister is responsible for this. I'm gonna blame my sister. I don't know, I don't know why she took such a fascination to the, to the NPCs in this area. But, 
all of them say ridiculous things, and most of them are the fault of my sister. Yes, yeah, so I'm blaming somebody else. Deal with it. What do you have to say? Text. 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 Oops, I think that should be colored. Yeah, this should be colored blue. Oops, well, I guess I forgot to color some somebody's text. You there. People are doing radio things upstairs. That's nice. Anyway, can you get out of the way of the door? I want to go through the door. Sir. Thank you. Anyway, now I suppose it's time to go where I'm supposed to be going. Oops. Oh, there's one more house, apparently. Do you have anything for me? What? Alright. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea either. Anyway, where I'm supposed to be going is... Did I go in here yet? Are you the guy with the books? You're the guy with all the books. Alright. You there! Whoa, look who it is. No, I was just exploring. Alright, so you can actually decline this battle, but I'm not going to. So, he's gonna heal my team first. Oh, that's convenient. And we're gonna have the screen fly out of the top right, because that's what the screens do. You're gonna send in Zapdos, I'm gonna send in Fontaine. So it's just like old times again, huh? Anyway. Conveniently enough, they're both the same level. You can use Discharge, and that's gonna suck, because it's probably gonna paralyze me. It actually didn't paralyze me. Can I have a Lucky Freeze? 10% chance. Whoop. That did more damage, but apparently not. Alright, so let's switch on out of there. I would like Paprika to come on in, because you're immune to Discharge. Actually, both of my other Pokemon are immune to Discharge. You can use regular Charge this time instead, so you're gonna raise the Special Defense. And increase the power of Electric Moves, which isn't going to matter, because, um... Well... I'm not affected by Electric Moves. So you're gonna use Agility. I'm gonna use Muddy Water. Zapdos is going to go down. Alright, very nice. Everybody gets experience out of that. You're gonna send the Cast Form! Hmm. Let's stay in. Alright, so you're gonna transform. I'm gonna use Body Slam just to see what happens. Fire Blast in the rain? On a water type? I don't think so. It missed anyway, but it wouldn't have done any damage as it is. Anyway. <clears throat> let's see how much damage Muddy Water does compared to, uh, Body Slam. Alright, so you're paralyzed, so you can't move. I'm gonna use Muddy Water again. And I think that's it for the cast form. Very nice. Cast Room is done. And Tequila is going to get experience. Paprika is going to get experience. I didn't, I didn't see who you're going to send in because I wasn't reading the text. Which I probably should. Fontaine! Moltres. Okay, so this is not exactly a good matchup. You have the other two legendary birds. So that's cool, I guess. Ancient Power. You can use Flamethrower. Please be muted by the rain. Ooh, 6 HP. Thank you very much. Ancient Power. This is going to be four times super effective. And... Raise all my stats, please. Thank you very much. You raised all my stats. Alright, defense rows, special attack rows, special defense rows, and speed rows, most importantly, because I could just kill you with another one of these, assuming I'm faster, which I am now. Alright. Moltres, goodbye. Okay, okay, so my stats are going up again. That's nice. I think the battle is over now. Is the battle over? Are there any more Pokemon? Alright, so there's a Gyarados left. Um, you know what? My special attack's at plus two. Let's see what Ice Beam does. Ice Beam. Ooh, 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 Hydro Pump missed. I was, I was counting on kind of like saying whatever. I'm just going to see how much damage this does, but I wasn't counting on living. But apparently uh, Hydro Pump is going to miss, which is nice. All right. Everyone gets experience again, and we've defeated rival Alex. Thank you. I have been keeping up with my training. Anyway, see you around. He's going to run off. And I'm going to go and enter the Meteorology Center. Uh, you there! Oh, that's all you have to say. There's nobody sitting here. That's a shame, I guess. There's a bunch of NPCs who will say weather-related things. And complain of- oops, what is this? That is like a tile error. Another tile error, I should specify, because there's been a number of tile errors in this game. Alright, something must have caused it, that's right. I take it you've been there for quite a while. Alright, some random facts about hurricanes that I just got off the internet. More random facts of hurricanes that I just got off the internet. 
It's kind of funny because at the moment of my recording this again, I don't know when I don't know when I'm going to be putting this up, but um, Hurricane Harvey is currently pillorying Texas, and um, I don't know. I don't know why that's funny. I just decided that's funny. Anyway, sigh. Sir, you Dragonite? No. Unfortunately, yes. That is a random period at the beginning of that sentence. Anyway, so if the text isn't going to try and tell me that it's Pokemon that's responsible for the storm, I don't know what is. So I'm just going to say Rip Delaware. You don't mean going straight into a hurricane? I don't think so. Alright, so we're going to Long Beach Island next. That's an HMO3, so that's for Surf. So we can finally use Surf, or at least... It's finally... Ow! Don't mind me. It's finally, um... Like, storyline, continuity-wise, makes sense to be using Surf, because Debug Mode is still in the game, and you can use Surf for that if you really want to. Um, the Eye! The Evil Eye! Humidity, temperature, air pressure, humidity, temperature, air pressure. Again, more things that I just got off Google about hurricanes. Although, humidity, temperature, and air pressure is fairly elementary. You there. Yep. Anyway, do you guys say anything? No? I probably should have given you guys text. Or whatever. Anyway, I don't even know what it does. Very nice. Anyway, let's get out of here. And I'm going to go and teach Gastrod on Surf, I think. Because I have Surf. Somewhere. And I'm pretty sure Gastrodon can learn it. I really hope Gastrodon can learn Surf. Good, Gastrodon can learn Surf. Because I'm going to need Surf. And we're going to be getting rid of Muddy Water, I think. 95 power, 85 accuracy. Yeah, these moves do have 85 accuracy. And yeah, it seems like they're missing constantly. Well, Muddy Water wasn't, but uh, Mud Bomb was. Anyway. Forgot how to use Muddy Water. And learn Surf. Perfect. Let's get on out of here, and if you wanted to, you could explore out in this direction with Surf, but I don't believe there's anything very interesting. Um, there's also a trainer school, or at least a school. Oh, and I said I was going to go buy some more Hyper Potions and stuff, didn't I? I also bought a bunch of Vulture Balls, which will be important for a certain event in the, uh, the storyline before I forget. Anyway, Newark Public School, so I suppose it's possible to go in here now. And uh, this is also another joke-ish area that I decided to throw in. There's people talking about non-Pokemon things in here. That's trigonometry. Um, you could go and talk to every single one of the uh, the NPCs in here if you want to. Eh, do I want to? A little rain is no reason to cancel class. My school actually didn't get closed the week that um, or the week before uh the. The week of, I'm sorry, Hurricane Sandy coming through uh, the state of New Jersey, which is what this game is loosely based off of, but that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Anyway, that's the public school. There's a bunch of kids loafing around in the library if you want to go and check that out, but I don't feel like checking that out. Anyway, I am going to be going and running off down this direction and making it, making my way, I believe, south of New Brunswick. You know what? What am I talking about? There's stuff. There's other stuff to do here. There's surf. All right, I knew that. Anyway, the water's a deep blue. Let's go and surf on it. Okay. I'm going to go and use full heal. Pick up a full heal, rather. And if I come this way, there's a slight tile error with the uh, the water on the bottom. The bottom tile over there, and it's bothering me. But I don't know what to do about it. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and pick up another full restore. Okay, so that's nice to have on hand. And I'm going to come down here. There is a waterfall. And in fact, you don't need waterfall to go and surf down the waterfall. And I don't know why, but you do, however, need it to, uh... You do, however, need it to go back up. At least if you're playing without debug mode. And that's going to be HMO5 for waterfall. So you can go and, um... I guess use that on a Pokemon. Who has waterfall, who has surf, or whatever. 
Or if you really want to, uh, you could fish one out of the water and uh, use one of those as an HM slave or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, what did I even just pick up? I feel like I should have just picked up a TM, but I don't know what that would have been. Um, I'm going to go and teach somebody waterfall. What did I pick up? Oh, sludge bomb. Was it sludge bomb? Can anybody learn sludge bomb? Paprika can learn sludge bomb. Sure. Do I want to get rid of toxic? On second thought, I don't know if I want to get rid of toxic, because toxic has just been too useful. Yeah, let's give up on learning sludge bomb. Um, waterfall. I'm going to go and overwrite, I believe, body slam with waterfall. Because they're both physical moves, they both have similar base power, and one gets the same type of attack bonus. Although, that doesn't give me coverage for neutral targets, but... I suppose, for the sake of getting out of here, it's nice to, uh, it's nice to have waterfall. Anyway, let's go do this, let's get out of there. And I think that's it. Repel's effect door off, I would like to use another max repel. Is there anything down here? There is something down here. This is going to be a thunderstone. Alright, so, you know what? I'm going to go back to New Brunswick and I'm going to fight Dragonite because I want the Eevee. And um, I would also like an electric type. And I haven't been able to find one so far. But Jol Eevee can evolve into a Jolteon, which is an electric type. So I think I'm going to go and use that. I've never actually used a Jolteon in an in-game team before. Uh, believe it or not. Anyway, I'll see you back in New Brunswick. Oh, before I do that, there is this item over here. Let's go see what this is. That's a Mystic Water, alright. I believe you can find them on cast form. Uh, as held items when you cast them. But if you don't have a cast form like I don't right now, that's a Mystic Water. Actually, you know what? I'm going to end this off here. So, for now, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you all later.